We're going to first start off with our soup by dicing one white or yellow onion. Um, you can do a large one or two small ones, and that's what I did. Then you're going to put it into a pot with some oil. Now we're going to add in three to four potatoes, medium, small sized. And we're going to finally slice them or dice them, as you would say, just so they cook really fast. Um, the smaller you cook them or cut them, <laughs> they cook a lot faster. Um, and this goes with our other veggies. We're going to get one large carrot, but we're going to finally, finally slice it just so it can cook a lot faster. And the larger side of the carrot, I'm just cutting in half and then into more quarters and then slicing that up. And then we're going to put it into our pot with the onion and potatoes and we're going to slice up our celery. And once we're done slicing up our celery, then we're going to add it to the pot as well. Now moving on to our herbs, we're going to add in a couple stems of rosemary. I'm just going to let it infuse into the pot um, while I chop up my parsley. I'm going to do a third of a bunch of parsley and we're just going to finally chop it, put it into the pot. Aside from this, I'm also adding in some dried herbs such as oregano, some thyme, a little bit of cumin, salt, and pepper. Okay, so moving on to the veggie base, we're going to add two tablespoons of veggie bouillon. Um, you can also do just vegetable stock. I like to do this though because it's a lot cheaper and it, I think it adds a lot more flavor when you do this. Um, and then we're going to add a couple cups of water, around four cups of water. And after this, we're going to add in our shredded cabbage. You can also get a whole cabbage head and cut it up really finely. You'd only need like a fourth of a cabbage for this. Um, and then we're also going to add in some miso paste. I'm going to do a tablespoon of miso paste. I think it tastes really good. And then I also like to add some acidity, so you can add either vinegar, white wine, or lemon. And then once you're done adding all these ingredients, then you can just let your soup simmer until everything is softened and well cooked. Enjoy! Enjoy! 